Hi, this is Brian. I'm going to show you my Ocean plugin. Well, let's create a new scene, and we'll use one of the built-in Carrera uh, skies. And the first thing I want to do is uh, change some of the defaults in this scene. We don't need a ground, and this defaults to inches. I'm going to change this to feet. And then, um, yeah, the grid needs to be bigger. And so now we have our scene. scene. Uh, so let's put an ocean in there. Uh, we have an icon here you can use. Uh, this is installed by my plugin. Or you can go to the insert and put the ocean in that way. And the default is going to be uh, just this default gray. So let's uh, use my favorite uh, ocean shader. And so here's the ocean now. Uh, we can adjust the ocean. Uh, let's, uh, if you double click it, it takes you to the modeling room where you can adjust things like uh, how wide it is. Uh, the resolution here indicates uh, what the grid spacing is in the center. And when it, the resolution is when it renders. And then the preview resolution is when you're just working with it, uh, moving models around and stuff like that. So it, you can you want to use a larger number here so you can uh, so it'll speed up. And this is, and then you have the C state. Uh, this indicates what the waves look like. Uh, so we're gonna ramp the waves up a little bit, six foot waves, uh, maybe a ten second swell here, and we can change the direction that it's coming from. Uh, the random seed uh, lets you change the randomness of the waves and then the smaller waves the this is the chop that you normally see uh, uh, they're usually smaller than the swell but not always uh, so let's uh, ramp this up a little bit too and maybe four seconds and so let's see what that looks like And you'll see it's a little rougher than it was before. Uh, one of the important features of my plugin uh, is the way it handles the grid. And you can see here uh, in the middle the uh, the grid's kind of small. Um, but as you get further away, it steps up to a larger grid. Uh, so that when you're further away from the camera, it can save memory by not having so much detail. And this allows you to have a much larger ocean than you could if you just if everything was the same resolution as the center here. But it all comes from the same object and it's using the same formulas, so it uh, blends together nicely. Now let's take a look at another feature of the plugin. Uh, we're going to create a box here, and make it somewhat boat-like, I guess. And it's not really doing much right now because it's not interacting with the ocean yet. So let's change that. Uh, under modifiers, we can add the Orca Ocean float modifier and then we want this new object to be parented to the ocean and that allows it to allows the plugin to find the ocean easier um, and so now it'll float up and down depending on where it is Uh, 
Um, let's see, we need to adjust something here. Uh, it's floating too low, so we're I'm going to hold down the caps lock key while I adjust the hot point, and then I'll make it float higher in the water. And wherever I move it, it's going to adjust to whatever the local wave sa says. Usually. Um, and you'll notice it's still staying completely horizontal. But uh, there's a way to fix that as well. Uh, there's an option here called Rotate in XY. And so now, wherever it moves, it's going to rotate to match what the wave is doing there. And so, as it moves across the waves, it's going to uh, bob and, and dip with the wave to just like it's floating. Uh, there's another option here to allow move X in X, Y, uh, but that's not implemented at the moment. Now you still have control over uh, movement across the water, and you can also change the yaw of the, of the boat to match whatever you need it to do. And then the plugin will just adjust, adjust the pitch and roll to match the waves. The final part of my plugin is what I call the wet shader. And I'm going to blow this up a little bit. And the wet shader lets you change something based on whether it's above or below the waves. Uh, so we have to tell it which, o which object is the ocean. There's three parts, but only two are actually used. The wet part doesn't actually work yet. But you have the submerged shader. Uh, so this is the... Uh, I'm just going to use red for illustration purposes. And then you have the dry shader. And we'll put a color um, green, so you can see what's happening. And you'll notice that the top of the object is green, but underwater it's red. And so this is useful when you need something like a reflection or a, uh, or the color of something to change based on whether it's above or below the waves. And you'll notice that it follows that the delineator delineation of the waves very closely. So uh, depending is I don't have a shader that actually uses this in the samples, uh, but sometimes this is useful uh, for your own shaders when you when you need it to just be different based on where it is. Now this is one of the sample files that I include with my plugin. My plugin works with Carrera version 8 as well as 8.5 and it's compiled for Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, Mac 32-bit, Mac 64-bit, and Mac PowerPC. And thank you, Fenric, for uh, helping with the with the Mac compiles. Uh, the plugin is uh, $15, and it's available on my website, brianorca.com. And thank you for your time.